Hey guys, just wanted to come on here for a couple of things. One is to talk about uh, Uber Eats and um, their grocery shopping. I took a Winn-Dixie order. It was $33 and some change. Uh, talked to the customer, no response. You know how they do. They order and then they just dis disappear. I don't know if they're cutting grass or taking a bath or what it is. Uh, but anyway, no response. Uh, swapped out things that made sense. Refunded things that I couldn't swap out. Took it to the guy. He met me at the door. Super nice. And... He tip baited me. After waiting for an hour to see if the tip come through, it didn't come through. I actually said it was reduced. Um, uh, I contacted Uber Eats and I started an adventure. It was a, it was a fiasco to be honest with you. I went through thirteen tech support agents. Uh, one telling me I was going to get full payment. The other, other a couple other ones telling me I wasn't going to get anything because the customer has the right to not tip. My point is, is the customer tipped. The customer took it away. The only way the customer took it away is because Uber Eats allows it. It's tip baiting. They put the tip out there. We all know what this is. And then they take it away for you new people. So you may get an offer for $33 like I did and end up getting paying $16 for it. You shop 28 items. It was a Winn-Dixie, a place where it doesn't tell you where all the items are. It took a little long. Um, 28 items should take you about 30 minutes, maybe. Uh, but this took a little while longer because... You don't know where all the items are. And I don't go to Winn-Dixie that often. And if you've seen my old videos, I, I, I kind of like told myself I was never going to go back to Winn-Dixie because it's such a clusterfuck. But anyway, after being on hold for an hour and a half, I got hung up on. Uh, I was not happy with this. It's probably because I spewed everything that had been built up to that point. Um, after being transferred to 13 different agents and listening to their sad music and annoying music, they got two types of music you can listen to and it switches. Uh, it's, it's very annoying, but anyway, I had lost it. Um, so I got a $70 order on Instacart. So I moved on with my day. Uh, since then I got three phone calls from supervisors, voicemails were left and I completely just ignored them. And then they finally sent me a message on the Uber Eats app and I responded to it and blasted them and told them I'd have to think really hard if I ever took another order again, which they don't give a shit. But anyway, uh, after that message, Shortly after that, I got full payment. Um, no response, just full payment. And the next day I got the most Uber Eats orders I'd ever seen, which was probably just random, uh, but they were awful. Uh, you know, the Uber Eats orders, $4 for 17 miles. Yeah, sign me up for that shit. Um, but anyway, another thing I was gonna talk about is Instacart, man. You guys taking these shop only orders, I understand that you don't have to move your car and you can just sit there all day and take shop only orders. Those are, those are fine. If that's what you wanna do, great, more power to you. Uh, I don't take those orders, uh, mainly because that person that ordered uh, can't tip you, but they can rate you. And the, the groceries are going to go through you, the cashier, the bagger, back to you, and then to a bagger taking it out to the car. A lot of interaction for them, some, some, for somebody to be rating you uh, and not being able to tip. That's just that's all I'm saying. As far as these orders that are sent to you for delivery, and it's got a... I'm sorry about the light, it's right in my eyes. Uh, these orders that are sent to you and it has a shop only attached to it, get that shit off, dude. Like, I'll explain to you. Call support, no, don't call support. Go into support and say you want to remove a specific order. Then you hit other, 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 and then contact a specialist. Okay, when you get the specialist, say you want order A removed and say only order A and give the person's name. And more than likely, most people will, will just remove it for you. You may be asked, why do you want it removed? And you simply reply, and you're not going to get in trouble. Simply reply, because you're paying me nothing to do this. And if you didn't know this, and you're just doing shop onlys, and then going to do the delivery, you're wasting your damn time. You're getting paid zero to two dollars maximum. And I'm not lying. If you, if you don't believe me, take one off and see how much the, the change is when you drop off the delivery. It's going to be either zero or about $2. And if you want to do 17 items to 20 items for $2, you're out of your fucking mind. I'm just being honest with you. Um, there's no sense in doing that. They're screwing you over. You can either tell them that they're not paying you to do it, or you can tell them that normally you would pay me 7 to $8 to do this one order by itself, shop only. There's different things you can say. You can say it's too big of an order. I, t I try to stay away from that because I don't want them putting something in the computer saying I don't like items of 17 or 20. You know what I'm saying? I, I, just just be honest with them. This, you're not going to get 
any strikes against you. Most people will eye contact, just immediately remove the badge, the, the, the order A, not the badge. They, they remove the one order that I asked to have removed. And then I go on about my day. Um, they have the tendency to put these shop onlys on these deliveries um, just to get, you know, free service pretty much. They're not paying you, man. Uh, if, and if they are, it's probably a max of $2. That's, that's what my experience is. Now, before, they weren't paying you at all. And then they started paying a dollar, you know, dollar and a half, two dollars. But um, I actually had one removed the other day and, and it came down 57 cents. And it was 20 items. They were going to pay me 57 cents to do 20 damn items. So you guys, you got to get these shop onlys off the deliveries and move about your day. It takes that much time. I'm exaggerating, but it takes less than a minute and a half, I promise you. And I probably shouldn't be giving any more tips and tr uh, tricks, but you know, most people are just gonna like blow that off and just be like, I'll just do the shop only. Cause they're just like, they don't wanna have to contact support. No, that is so dramatic. It's this, uh, I don't know. People are just weird. Like, like just contact support. You're doing them a favor. You're not doing yourself a favor. You're making maximum $2. I can't say it enough. Um, so if you wanna continue to just do the shop only, and the delivery, that's fine by me. I'm actually doing you guys a favor that do the shop only is because I get rid of the shop only, I do the order, and the shop only gets put back out into the system. So it's creating an order for you guys that like to do shop only. So uh, you're welcome. <laughs> Take care, guys.